about to show you how crazy my wife is. So we're going to video this water snake who is doing a great impression of a cotton mouth. She is not, even though she's trying really hard. She's flattened her head really tight. It's really, it's really hard to see, but she has round pupils, um, which a cotton mouth has vertical. And yes, just stop it. There are no heat pits, uh, uh, heat seeking pits on the side of her face. And in reality, even though she's flattened her head, it isn't the coffin shaped head of a water moccasin. She's doing a damn good imitation of one. She would bite me if I got close enough and the bite would not be pleasant, but she is not venomous. And in fact, does a, a good job of keeping down all sorts of critters. So they're good to have around. Which is not good enough, but it looks like I may have her. Now, if you'll notice, you'll see some moisture coming out. There we go. I have a great one. Okay. Uh, if you've ever caught a garter snake, you'll have gotten sprayed with a really stinky musk. And they are related to water snakes. So what she's doing in defense is been spraying me with this smelly musk. Her scale pattern on her belly, particularly her tail, is quite different than a water moccasin. Not that you'd pick up a water moccasin and look at its belly. This is the anal plate, which is split, and it isn't on a water moccasin. So if you look at her eyes, you can see very clearly that she has a round pupil. And a vertical pupil is what a water moccasin has. All of our poisonous snakes in the United States, with the exception of the coral snake, have vertical pupils, have very triangular heads. Now, you saw when she was striking at me how flat she made her head, but in reality, the shape is not at all the same. I'm gonna see if I can get her to open her mouth so we can look at her teeth. Yeah, she was all ready to strike at me, but now she just wanna open her mouth and I don't wanna hurt her. <laughs> the tongue coming out is interesting. People seem to be afraid of it. <clears throat> Snakes don't have hearing um, and their smell is not great. What they use that tongue for is, is to bring odors in and then there is an organ in the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson organ. And the, the tongue comes in and those two little tips go up into the Jacobson organ, which then tells them what's going on in their environment. I don't know if I can get her to do it again or not. Yeah, she's <laughs> going to do it. Um, I'll show you a skull of a poisonous snake. I don't want to hurt her. Her teeth are very small. Here in the front would be two big fangs, which I will show you in a skull. She's really calmed down since I picked her up. I mean, she was Miss Nasty Girl when she was striking at me. You can see she's a pretty good size. Um, in the light here, you can kind of see, boy, that stinks. You can kind of see the pattern. In a younger water snake, you would see this pattern. This color, though is very similar to an adult water moccasin and she's starting to slip in my hand so I'm going to turn her loose for her although she's calmed down quite a bit. So a lot of people say well you know I'm just going to kill any snake that I see and snakes are an important part of our environment. Without them we'd be overrun with mice and frogs and all sorts of things and this is what this girl eats and takes care of in our environment. So when you see a snake, just let it go its way. It doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And in fact, generally speaking, it will feel the vibrations of you walking and will try to get away from you. You've probably walked by more snakes than you've ever had an idea of. Um, and they just will put themselves into position where you don't see them. So she's relaxed now and I'm gonna put her down She's come from our neighbor's pond. So I'm gonna put her in our backyard here, even though she was hiding under the trash can. So here's a rattlesnake skull. It's the same as a water moccasin skull. What you can see here are these two fangs. These are connected to poison glands, which are in these two areas here on the skull. So when they strike, their teeth are folded up in their mouth like this. When they strike, they open their mouth the fangs come forward and get you. An interesting little fact is that a lot of times they, especially an older snake that's learned, won't envenomate you. They can actually choose venom or not. 
venom is used to kill prey it's not for defense so a lot of times they'll do what they call a dry bite i don't have a skull of a regular snake like she is but what they have are just rows and rows of small teeth like these catch their prey with those small teeth like this to hold it and as you saw as i pulled her lip up you could have seen these fangs if she'd had them so that's the difference in the in the teeth between a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake in the United States, except for coral snakes. <laughs>